What's up everybody? It's your boy Randall D, aka Fiber Optics RLD. Today I got a video for you. Today we're gonna to be checking out the Samsung Gear VR. Yes, there it is. The Gear VR. VR stands for virtual reality, for those who don't know. But anyways, the Samsung Gear VR. So this came out November 20th. This is the consumer edition. This is the third version of the Gear VR. They got two other versions. The other two were called Innovator Editions. The first Gear VR Innovator Edition came out for the Galaxy Note 4. Not the Note 4 Edge, but it came out for the Galaxy Note 4. Uh, the second version came out for the Galaxy S6 and the Galaxy S6 Edge. This one here just came out a couple days ago. And this one is tailored to the Note 5, the S6 Edge Plus the Galaxy S6 and the Galaxy S6 Edge, so four devices. So this is real big right here. This is, so this one, they they, they dropped the price drastically from the Innovator version. The Innovator edition costed, uh, retailed for $249.99. This one retails $99.99 and it launches with more uh, consumer edition software. You know, they have Netflix now. They have Twitch on here, Hulu. I think they have Hulu. I have to go back and check. I don't want to give y'all false information. But it does definitely have Netflix. As you can see from my other photos, Netflix and chill, VR edition. But anyways, here's the back of the box. Uh, this is just going to be a quick unboxing just to show y'all what the device looks like. I can't really show y'all what the device looks like when the phone is in it. And I can't show y'all what's on the screen. Unless I go in and hook up a Chromecast to the TV and uh, that's that's doing too much. But anyways, the back of the box just says enjoy 2D, 3D contents, play VR games, explore tourist attractions, you know, without having to leave the living room. So, you know, it's got different pictures on here. Health and safety warning. I guess don't leave it on for six hours plus like I'm going to be doing. But, um, but anyways, so here's the box. You know, nice simple packaging was delivered to me to uh, yesterday by UPS. Speaking of that, uh, when it came out on November 20th, uh, Amazon had it for pre-order and Best Buy had it for pre-order. If you pre-ordered it from Amazon, Amazon failed. If you pre-ordered from Amazon, you did not get your gear VR. I don't know what happened to Amazon shipments and their logistics chain and all that good stuff, but... Amazon failed to deliver. I ended up canceling my Amazon pre-order and pre-ordered through Best Buy. And about an hour later, I got UPS tracking numbers and everything. But anyways, so long story short, Best Buy got me the package. Shout out to Best Buy. Amazon failed. But anyways, so this is the box. Let's take out the box so you can guys see what it looks like. Just a little flap over here. I kind of put everything back in for uh, dr dramatical effects, you know. Just so y'all so can see what it looks like inside the box. So let's open it up. So just a little pull this out here. Just a little tray. If I can get it. Huh, fail. So take it out the box. Foul that to the side. So inside the box you get booklets. Gear VR startup guide. Of course I don't need that. Put that to the side. You get your straps, so you can strap it down to your face. Got another one. Velcro straps. Right here is the device itself. Let's move this to the side. So here is the Gear VR. Samsung. Samsung Gear VR. So this is what the device looks like. Let me go ahead and kind of set it up also for dramatic effects. So you take the little Velcro, stra Velcro straps, slide through the loop on the side. Bloop, just like that. Come over here, do the same thing. And there you have it. Samsung Gear VR. Now this top strap this one goes across the top. There's a hook right here that this side kind of hooks into. 
and it'll give you like a third strap you can have for those who you know if it gets too intense and you need three straps or two you know for, just for more security so it don't fall off your face but nonetheless this is what the device looks like and in inside you have a proximity sensor so the device can tell that it's up close to your face you got two uh, lenses here uh, they're back they're magnified to a certain extent at the top you got a little dial you can adjust how you can adjust the distance from the lens to your face so if you wear glasses or if you take your glasses off you can use this dial up front to adjust how close the lens is to you so you know you know it'll make the the screen sharper or blurry depending on your eyesight I don't have 20 visions 2020 vision so I'll be adjusting that frequently but anyways this comes off now that to the side all right so inside here is where things get interesting so you slap your phone across the top right here if you notice on the side it says A and B because this device fits the larger S6 Edge Plus and the Note 5 and it also fits the smaller devices the Galaxy S6 and the Galaxy S6 Edge so this device fits four Samsung devices you just put your phone in and, and on the side over here is like a little micro USB port as soon as you connect it, it fires up the Gear VR software. And from that user interface, you choose your VR apps such as Netflix and all your VR games and all that good stuff. So, so yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. Unfortunately, I can't put my phone in there and show y'all what it looks like. My phone is currently recording this video. I don't have another camera device because I'm just starting off. Somebody don't donate me a camera. I appreciate it. I'll uh see my address or something so uh but yeah samsung gear vr oh yeah I almost forgot if you get the gear vr a couple accessories you might want to pick up to go with it you might want to get you a controller this is for the vr games you know so if you're playing a game in vr space you can control the game using using the controller if you don't have a controller on the side they do have a trackpad here you can go up down left right there's a back button so there's some navigation to the device when it's on your face you just use this to control the user interface here there's also volume buttons right here also I probably should have mentioned that when I show y'all not you know show you guys the device that there are buttons on the side this side there ain't nothing over here just gear VR powered by oculus so this is real big guys this is this is the first consumer virtual reality unit in the retail space you know I, I don't really want to include Google Cardboard that don't really count this is the first really consumer grade virtual reality unit they have some other VR devices coming out by oculus there's the oculus rift that one will be powered by your desktop computer and there's also a PlayStation VR which will be powered by the PlayStation 4 those both come out sometime in 2016 but in the meantime, this right here by Samsung, this is a success. If you have a Galaxy Note 5, a Galaxy S6, a Galaxy S6 Edge, or S6 Edge Plus, you need to get this device. If you don't, I don't know what to tell you. That's 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 if you don't get if you get a Galaxy device and you don't have this, that's a fail. Anyways, you want to pick this up, get you a controller, get you some nice headphones. For example, I use these here. These are Beats by Dre. Definitely get you some nice headphones. Pair you up the Gear VR with active noise cancellation headphones. And you are in your own world. You will not hear anything. You will be completely zoned out. Somebody could just, you know, just randomly pop in on you wouldn't even know it. But anyways, there it is, guys. Samsung Gear VR pick it up it should have it back in stock in the next couple days yeah I, I, I don't know what to tell you this 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 device right here is a certified gold pick this up as soon as possible all right y'all it's your boy Randall D aka fiber optics RLD Samsung gear VR they know my slogan they gonna learn today one more time for the VR
All right, y'all, I'm out.